Mr. Speaker, I now yield one minute to the gentleman from Oregon, Mr. Schrader. Mr. General Schrader. Morgan is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have to say that I'm very surprised to have to be here today. I thought after millions of Americans said loud and clear this past November they wanted us to work together and find common ground, we could put divisive bills like this behind us. When I speak to voters in my district in Oregon, none of them asked me to raise taxes on the middle class, which effectively this bill does. None of them have asked me to let health insurance plans discriminate against women or those with pre-existing conditions, something this bill does. I don't know any seniors that want to pay more for prescription drugs, something that will happen if this bill becomes law. Nobody I speak with wants the most vulnerable children to go without health insurance, which will happen with this bill going into effect, ending bipartisan support for the Children's Health Insurance Program. Nobody I know wants to see the deficit grow to pass on more debt to our future generations or reduce the solvency of the Medicare Trust Fund. Again, something will happen if this bill becomes law. Mr. Speaker, I don't think my constituents are... Americans want us to stop wasting time, come together, put this partisan nonsense behind us, and urge my colleagues right now to vote no on this bill and get our priorities in line. General, I back. Pennsylvania.